grinding through the snow for a bot that likes to slay. Scroll into space we go, crying all the. Jeez, what the? Now, now, perfectly symmetrical violence won't get anyone anywhere. Cheer! Incoming! Hey everybody, it's Wilbit, and we're doing an Xmas Xeril! Uh, there's gonna be... let's just, let's just go in and look at some stuff. Get ready! An Xmas Xeril is about to begin! Please wait while the game loads, this may take a minute. I notice sometimes people think that they get stuck on this screen. Just wait for it. I know in some past events people have spent weeks saying they're stuck because on some older phones that can literally take a minute or five or 15, but it's not actually frozen. It is working. Just stay with it. All right, let's look at the stuff. I'm really looking forward to Xmas because it'll be the first time this year I know who's going to attack us next. Because <laughs> everybody knew this was coming. Yes, Robot Santa's on his murderous way to punish the naughty, which is why I'm sending you on a preemptive strike. That sounds like a suicide mission. Should I be worried? Not at all. I was able to stock up on crew-grade caskets during the Black Friday sales. Uh, uh. Alright, let's check out the event. We're going to be going to Neptune to take down Robot Santa and his holiday cheermongers. Um, and we're gonna be obtaining rare gems on Neptune to help forge power suits for the crew. Uh, these were never in the show in any capacity at all. Like, I know we've had a couple kind of original things, but we're just throwing caution to the wind and just doing whatever we want. But they look kind of awesome, so I guess I'm okay with you making new things if it's awesome. Let's, let's see. Uh, defeat the cheermongers, recruit them, take down Robot Santa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fry, do something for six seconds. Bender, do something for six seconds. We're gonna avoid tapping on things, even though I don't think they do anything. I appreciate these quick starts and not like eight hour gaps. Uh, do we really have to fight Robot Santa again? Can we just let him kill us this year? Absolutely not. If we let him kill us this year, soon we'll be letting him kill us every year. I don't want to have to get reanimated once a year. It makes my hair dry and frizzy. I'm sorry for proposing it. I guess I was thinking only of myself. Here's the plan. We'll fly to Neptune, land at Jolly Junction, and launch a surprise attack on Robot Santa's invincible fortress. Isn't Robot Santa's invincible fortress heavily guarded? Yes, and it's invincible too. That's why I'm sending the most expendable employees first. Which, since the hypnowaves killed the delivery business, is all of you, really. Bon voyage! Alright, we got a clear robot reindeer. We have to fry, go do something for three minutes. The robot reindeer are just our clickables. They're these, they're kind of big. They show up, you'll tap on them. They don't make noises, apparently. Too bad. They're gonna be a good source of these... What are these? What are these tokens called? Santa medals. Which I'm sure we're just going to need a ton of as we go through this. So while that's all going on, we're going to go to space on Neptune. A real planet. Not that Mars and Earth aren't, but... It's in our solar system, hooray! Supposedly where Santa is in this universe. And I'm going to show you the secrets to making sure we get this. The This is only recommended level 5. It's very, very easy. Uh, but it is going to be a good idea to bring... Bender as your side person for this, and I'll show you why in just a bit. One thing is, of course, he has the side path, but also, see these delicious, tasty, little red ruby crystal things? We're actually not going to pick them up yet, intentionally. We have to run this map for the purpose of completing a quest, so we're gonna take the harder optional path, which you do need regular bender for to get through. And it's still really easy. Because, well, here we got our red spray paint, and we still do get three red star rubies for our first run. So you get a few of them. But once we pick up Fry... Robot Santa and his aides were lying in wait for us! 
Oh my, it seems that defeating Robot Santa will be harder than I'd anticipated. We'll have to toughen you up with some military training. Go ahead and expose your abdomen so that I can bang on it with a club. After that, we'll start it on the military training. I wish just once we could celebrate Xmas without fearing for our lives. Wait a minute, Robot Santa only attacks Earth. Couldn't we go to your parents' place on Mars and spend the holidays there? God. No, I stopped going home years ago because of all the Xmas time family drama. Trust me, you'd rather face Santa's bazooka than my father's. So, part three of this quest requires you to collect ten red star rubies. It is possible to mess this up and not get those straight away because I've seen some people who just see new space missions and just immediately start clearing them and hopefully you guys are all very clever boys and girls and have figured out don't do that yet wait and see what the missions have because sometimes crazy stuff happens um but yeah we're gonna do run mission two you collect 10 red star rubies and you're gonna build our mother of mercy liquor kitchen um which is our first snow building it'd be I, I'm kind of hoping we get like some um like some snow skins on some of the other buildings. I haven't seen anything like that yet. So far, we may just have some random snow buildings in our in our New York, New New York during the summer, and I'm not really sure what that's going to be like. A question for another time. So now you can rerun those or run mission two since you were a good person, a good player, and you picked up them in time. We can run the same team. This time, the alternate path requires Fry. On map 3, you're going to need Amy at at least level 18. You probably all have that. On map 4, you're going to need Scruffy at level 21. And that may be kind of a kicker for some people because I know a lot of not a lot of people use Scruffy. He hasn't shown up a lot. But it's a good idea to get story characters leveled up for exactly this reason. Uh, maps 5 and 6 require Santa Bender. That'll take a little while. I took the top easy path, it gives you 12 star rubies, which clears that mission straight out. Just do the mission. I've seen several people complaining already about being stuck without star rubies. Don't let it happen to you, it's difficult. I'm not even sure how you get out of it easily without just spending pizza on something. So just read the missions, read the quests. You've probably either already hit this problem or we're lucky enough to just miss it entirely if you're by the time you're watching this video, but hopefully it saves somebody. Um, and then we are going to need some more Santal medals. So, you know, just run the other side paths. You're gonna need to do them anyway because they drop stuff for... Let's look at the outfit, actually. And this cool port... I haven't really looked at the snow in Central Park. There's a lot of cool stuff. I'm guessing there are going to be some mystery boxes coming in these statues. So, brace yourself. Hopefully they're decorations, but maybe not. In the decorations... Um, earlier, actually, all of the other... They were actually all of the upcoming costumes were on display. I see they didn't actually want them to see that, so I'm, uh, I'll, I'll leave it off for now, but if you look on the internet, we know all of the characters who are gonna be getting their cool, rough, tough, robo spacesuits. But to get Santa Claus Bender, you're going to need 30 red spray paints. These all drop from 1-1 one, one on the hard path, so literally you are just gonna have to grind that until you get 30 spray paint. Um, if you have the fuel, you'll be able to knock that out straight away. 1-4, or let's see, hard eggnog is all on 1-2 on the hard path. And Santa's hat is all from 1-3 on the hard path. Um, and 1-4 has your letters to Santa. So really, we're just gonna be running those four maps along those hard bottom paths. There's no random chance to this, it's really just how much fuel can you accumulate and dump into picking up all of these things in order to get Santa Claus Bender as fast as you please. No, we're not buying it. Not for pizza. Not today. And you do get those dreidel medals. I didn't actually take a good look at them. But that's something that we are going to need at some point. For something. Alright, well, there is a little RNG because I just took the hard path of the second map and only got like three eggnog. And we have to get quite a bit, so this may be a fuel-intensive endeavor 
where rather than sending characters off on tasks, you're going to be just having them grind most for cash most of the time as we try to get 40 of these friggin' eggnogs. Oh, this is going to get a little bit redundant. And just to show it off, this path has Amy Wong at her level 18. They look like all the other like moons and stuff. These are really simple paths. And they will progressively get harder, but honestly, they they're not gonna actually be hard, I don't think, until we start facing the levels with Robot Bender. So he's definitely gonna be a choice place to start putting your credits. And I took the hard path on map 3 and got like 10 Santa hats, so, you know, your mileage may vary on all of these things. We'll make the Motherboard of Mercy. That'll go all right over here. Nice little liquor kitchen. Hey, Hermes, what you doing? What does it look like? I'm drinking myself to death before Robot Santa massacres me! Ah, you know, if it'll save time, I'd be happy to massacre you right now. Uh, massacring is not my preferred form of death. You're not suicidal at all, are you, you selfish jerk? You've just got a drinking problem. Let's make it interesting. I've decided I'm not gonna just sit here waiting for Santa and cowering in fear. It's time to fight back. Uh, how, you didn't just ask? By disguising myself as Robot Santa himself. What good will that do? You're dying to ask but don't want to give me the satisfaction? Oh wait, you're not Leela, you're just a cardboard standee. STOP ASKING SO MANY QUESTIONS! Oh good, it preemptively knew I did the thing. So yeah, have Fry work on the ship, which takes a whole three minutes. And then just create the Santa Claus outfit. So, yeah. Most of what you're gonna be doing this week is just gonna be grinding for these things. Um, the other thing is, of course, you can see Power Suit Fry over here. He will be in this after you get the neglected neptunian house which requires 35 red star rubies um which you're gonna need to get from clearing the other missions and then also um that's probably all of them that there is actually there's probably exactly enough to get what you need and then power suit fry who will show up next i don't know his requirements yet and he's gonna help us fight hanukkah zombie so it looks like that's coming up soon so if you like Voiced by Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, Hanukkah Zombie. That should be fun as we begin our unholy trinity of holiday seasons. But Tinny Tim, who I'm dancing around here, is our premium for the week. Tinny Tim, everyone's favorite, Cockney child, Dickensian. Uh, 250 pizza, he helps you drop envelopes. Let's grab him up. One of the best, one of the best lines. Coin, sir. Could I trouble you for a dollar? Uh, sorry, I spent my last dollar on a bag of chips. Then might I trouble you for your bottom of the bag chip powder? In return, I'd be happy to degrade myself for dancing for you. Uh, now, now, there's no shame in entertaining someone in exchange for food. Oh. There is if it's you, sir. Oh. So he can tap dance which is an eight hour task he only he doesn't actually have very many tasks and he only needs to be level five to get all of them you do not have to put much juice into tinny tim i'm gonna pittance him up to exactly five we'll probably put some more in there later because i bet i surely he's gonna have something to do outside of just finding letters and also his letter task takes a day it is 24 hours. He has 1 hour, 2 hour, 4, 6, 8, and 24. You know, those are the main times that I send people off. If you must have only 6 actions, hey, 3 of them are animated, and you hit the times that I tend to send people on the most. Um, we'll do the mission first. Letters for another day. So hopefully you do have some cash saved up, because there's a lot of levels to go through, some of which require Santa Bender. And we have Xmas of the Undead Hanukkah Zombie down here in map 10. And apparently to 100% those, you are going to need to make a level 30 Santa Dressed Bender. That's a pretty tall order. That's about 100,000 Nixon Bucks. 
just to get that going. I'm gonna check out the Scruffy map. My Scruffy's only 25. I've been- he's been on my short list for potential 30s, and the only reason I haven't is that it is a lot of cash to get those up there. I've got the chips, but the cash takes a while. I would say once you get to the mission for unlocking Santa Bender, just go ahead and pick those up as best you can. Yep, the other maps don't even open until you have Santa Bender. So it's just gonna be these four maps over and over again for probably the first couple of days. As you get fuel available, this is where you're going to put it, for now. So yeah, that's gonna be the first section. I know that eventually you are going to get to a uh, Hanukkah zombie, and he is actually a boss fight almost identical to the robot devil one that was in um, the robot hell event, in that he's going to summon minions, and while those minions are out, he is going to be invulnerable. So you are going to want to take those out ASAP and then attack him, uh, which if you're sufficiently leveled is honestly not too bad. You're probably used to that event from Robot Hell. It was kind of fun. It was kind of neat. It's nice to see them coming back. I'm hoping that they do some interesting variations on that going forward. I'm really curious what's going to be coming out of this portal over the next four or five weeks. It's going to be going on till January 10th. Um, that might only be four weeks. I think- I'm not sure exactly how many chapters we're getting here. So yeah. Um, I'm kind of digging this power suit. I'm really curious what all Fry is gonna be like to get him in there. Um, what do you guys think? We are kind of drifting a little bit away from the canonical Futurama universe, but building a power team of the Futurama crew feels like something this show would do. So, I don't know, so far I'm digging it more than I'm not digging it. Um, what do you guys think? Is it cool that they're doing big crazy costumes for like Scruffy and Amy and the Professor? And Leela is also our other one? Um, or would you rather have seen just a more conventional Christmas story going on there? Um, it's certainly creative! I'm looking forward to further weeks. I'm looking forward to hopefully picking up Hanukkah Zombie next week after we defeat him this week. More info on that later on as we find out more about it. Hope you guys enjoyed your break. Um, last week had that really neat box. I didn't cover it because I literally couldn't talk about it. I couldn't even show it off because I had all the characters. Um, but there was a nice chance to pick up all of the mini event characters last week if you didn't have them already. Probably most of you were missing at least a couple in there somewhere. Did you buy that one? Let me know. Was it worth the pizza? Did you get Nixon or Neil deGrasse Tyson? Or did you get stuck with characters you didn't want? Um, I'm curious about that as well. I, I don't know if that would have been worth an entire video to cover, but I do think it was a pretty interesting one. Um, it's good to be back covering Christmas stuff. Um, I'm gonna be traveling a little bit over the holidays, so some of these videos may get a little interesting in that I will not have my nice equipment to green screen myself into the corner, so apologies in advance for whenever that starts up. But for now, I'm here in the corner. This has been Wilbits. Uh, it's great talking with you guys. Hope you have a great holiday. Um, sound off in the comments. See you soon. Bye for now.